Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today it's an all-out battle between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Now, if you're wanting to build a website, surely you've heard of the platform WordPress. It's probably one of the most popular solutions out there for creating a website. Now, you may have also noticed that there is WordPress.com and there's WordPress.org. So, What's the difference? WordPress.com is run by Automatic, the company that manages the WordPress project. Now, WordPress is an open source and free to use software, but Automatic built some stuff on top of it to kind of lock it down and make their own easier to use experience. So with that being said, WordPress.com is easy for anyone to use, but to unlock all features, you have to pay $300 per year. On the flip side, WordPress.org is the most customizable solution, but takes tinkering to set up. WordPress.org is a free open source software that you need to install on a web hosting server. So you will need to pay a company monthly to purchase web hosting. This is usually around $40 a year to do. WordPress.org can use free themes or you can buy a theme online from any developer. The average cost of a WordPress.org site is $40 per year for hosting, $10 per year for a domain, and a $60 one-time fee for a theme, bringing the initial cost to $60 initially and the annual fee to $50. Now, WordPress has something called plugins. These enhance the experience and add extra functionality to your website. WordPress.org can install any plugin from any developer and you have full access to the code to change things around. Now the main downside of WordPress.org is that the admin panel can be confusing and different themes and plugins function differently and can cause the theme to be bloated, slow, hard to figure out how to edit, it really is a tinker-minded software, meaning you're gonna have to be tech savvy and have the patience to just poke around and figure out how do you edit stuff. It's not really a super straightforward drag and drop editor like Squarespace or other solutions. So enter WordPress.com. This is a more easy to use version that is controlled by Automatic. They handle setting it up, they lock it down so you can't control as many things, but in return you get an easier to use experience. WordPress.com has several plans. The free plan is a watered down version of WordPress.org with an easier to use panel. You are stuck with a subdomain such as crailertech.wordpress.com unless you upgrade to a higher plan. Adding posts and pages is simpler and all of the official themes are consistent so you won't be wondering how to make changes. The free, personal, and premium plans are locked to the proprietary WordPress themes, so you can't upload a theme from another developer. On the upside, you know you'll have a consistent experience with no tinkering to figure stuff out. Now you can unlock the full WordPress.org experience with full customization, but this costs 300 per year to do through WordPress.com, so if you want to do that, it's more economic to use WordPress.org from the start. Now I'm not going to compare the different WordPress.com plans because that's easy enough to do for yourself, but I'll leave you with this. If you are someone who has little to no experience building websites and you want a blog or simple website, WordPress.com is for you. The free plan will work to start out and the personal plan is reasonably priced and will work for most blogs and small websites. If you're a business owner wanting a website, you'll likely require more functionality than WordPress.com has to offer. So you're best off hiring a WordPress expert to build you a WordPress.org website, and they can train you on how it works and how you can make changes once they do the initial tinkering and setup. If you have experience building websites, or you're just tech savvy and up for the challenge, then WordPress.org is a fantastic platform to build a website affordably and have a lot of functionality. Speaking of WordPress.org, if you're wanting the most customizable site but don't have the time, energy, or patience to figure it out, I am available for hire as a WordPress expert. I have a pretty big portfolio you can take a look at and you can learn more about my services over at hirechristian.com webdesign. 
So I hope this video has taught you something, and if you have additional questions about WordPress.com versus WordPress.org and what will be right for you, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer questions you may have, and I'd encourage you to check out my website if you are considering a WordPress.org site, but you aren't really wanting to do it yourself. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a big thumbs up, Hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss when I release new content. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.